Fuzz tells me your name, Jataida, means uh -huh. something in Shona. It does. What does it mean? <laughs> what we wanted. What we wanted? It's loosely translated into English, it means what we wanted. So my first name, Jataida, means what we wanted. My second name, Tafara, means we're happy. So my parents were happy because they got what they wanted. Catch my drift. Ah, I and like my that. last name, Chimedza, means uh, swallow. Nice. Loosely translated. Swallow. Swallow now. Has a lot of sexual connotations. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, we, we, it goes, we are happy what we wanted, but I should have swallowed. <laughs> is, that, is that the full translation? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Donnie's got his first hoons, first Zimbabwean hoons. We're gonna do a little hoon review over here. Pacific Storm. Enjoy the flavors, the big pleasure to discerning smokers all over the world. Blended with some Zimbabwean tobacco, and then it has parentheses, the world's best tasting tobacco. Yep. All right. I can't concur. I'm not a hooner, but I know for a fact it's the best. Zimbabwe, it's the, um, the third biggest tobacco producer in the world. There you go, you're so, learning. So what, you got like Virginia, Zimbabwe, and then who knows what the <laughs> yeah. other one is. I tell you what, this is tastier than a Chinese hoon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I might even prefer this over an American hoon. That one canton was nine bucks. Uh, and Zimbabwean currency in Less than American, divided by 20, so box of cigarettes, 45 cents. Tastes healthy. So this is this is what happens when you when you earn a when you earn an American an American middle class an American middle class salary in a third world. That's 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 my plan. Make my make my money in the states and come blow it here because it'll. Your money is long out here, man. Yeah. As I said, drop this on the on the right California beach. Drop this in Casablanca. This shit, this shit will fetch you like 15 mil. Is it, is it Casablanca? Oh no, Casablanca. That's Morocco. <laughs> what's what's I'm the sure what's the what, nice. is what is it? Yeah, it is nice in Casablanca, but uh, Calabasas. There we go. Ooh, my legs are itchy. My legs are itchy. Fuck. Oh! You get attacked by the burrs there? The burrs? Yeah. Look at my shoe. Yeah. You're meant to be dressed like Chef Donnie is, not like what Donnie's wearing. This type of fabric. Yep. Nothing gets caught in the burrs. It's real It's real light too, right? Oh yeah, it's nice. Well, I'm wearing linen. This is light. Oh, yeah, hiking, hiking boots on. High socks. Ooh, high yeah, socks. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I don't know if you can see, I'm in like New Balance. <laughs> I don't know if I feel welcome here after the dog attack. That was, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh, God! So I'll tell you this. So Zimbabwean dogs aren't nah. friendly. They yeah. train, they, 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 they're more used for protection than that. Yeah. Can I do Excuse one me. order of the crispy wonton? Or crispy wonton, okay? Yeah. Oh. Yummy, 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 yummy goons. Zimbabwean rangoons. <laughs> yeah. It looks good. They're filled with um, like minced, minced beef. So my rule for rangoons is it needs some sort of dairy to be a rangoon. But yeah, these are filled with I think like minced beef. Not the best, but I just like a fried wonton. I'm gonna give these 6.8. I think they're great. So right now you make a uh, Chicken gizzards? Yes. I, think it's, I don't know what exact part, but it's one of the insides. I think it's like close to the kidneys, the and it keeps the, it keeps the food and all that. So that's what we're having. That's what we have as a snack. They're very, very good. I wonder, like in the U.S., what people do because like these aren't very popular in the U.S. So do most people just throw out the gizzard? I would US? assume. I would assume. So how yeah. this usually works? Quite a, some people throw it out. Yeah, but this is way better. Like I've tried. Um, I've tried intestines before, you know, because they serve that sometimes yep. in China, like whatever, pig intestines, and I do not like those. 
to not to not to be all. I mean, just call it this. It is. I'm not being. Oh, there's a squat. Oh shit. Oh yeah. There you go. An African squat. God damn it! I'm. <laughs> I, I looked, and we almost ended up in a puddle. We crashed. We almost ended up in a puddle. African squat. Would not yeah, be this good. Is, this is, so we got some ladies uh, that might can get some firewood over here. Gotta walk like miles and miles. Hey, how are you? Very beautiful tree. Yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah, it is. So you were telling me too that they don't really enforce drunk driving here? No. No? No, no, no. So it's against the law, but it's not really enforced. All right, Donnie, hey, drop that. Drop we're, one? We're going by the president's okay. president's house. The cops are, these are, actually, you want to put it down, Don? Put yeah. yours down, Don? That's the president's house right there. The cops are out, the soldiers, they got rifles. Oh, he, yeah. he looked. He looked, uh oh, he looking, still looking at us. Who's still looking at us? Uh, the soldier at that corner. I think he's probably just looking at us because we're white. I don't know. Yeah, but this is, this is the yeah. president's compound. Actually, if you want to be able to drop it, because yeah. we might get stopped by these lights. That guy's a cop? Hey, oh, yeah. It's a cop uniform. <laughs> this doesn't look very intimidating. Yeah, but the friends that he'll call are very yeah. intimidating. Yeah. I can tell you that. <laughs> This is the first stereotypical African thing I've seen. We've got meerkat mustard, cheetah chutney, bush pig barbecue, and wild dog Worcester sauce. I can never pronounce that, Worcester sauce. And over here we have some zebras. As you can notice, they have black and white stripes. No nobody knows if they're white with black stripes or black with white stripes. It's one of the mysteries of Africa. Um, they do look slightly like a horse, um, but God had a little bit more fun with them. And over here we have the bear butt baboon. Oh, I think they're already a little scared of me, but if you, if you notice, they have a bear butt. Hey, how are you guys? I'm just coming over here trying to teach the people some animal facts. They, they have a snout like a dog, but uh, um, opposable thumbs like a human. All right, we're just doing a little jungle cruise with the baboons. Boons have been known to uh, crank hoons from time to time if you offer them a cigarette, uh, but you're not supposed to do that. There's actually um, quite a serious problem with baboons cranking hoons these days. How oh, I just take one cannonball and I'm done for. That's all it takes, one, one cannonball. I don't think you can last in the water with hippos. I don't mean, unless I made like a hippo costume, but then I would have to like fight the other hippos. Cause I heard that now it's the dry season that the, the water pools get smaller and smaller. And actually hippos like male hippos need to fight each other for dominance of the pools. And if you lose, you're just left on land like a loser. How bad do you want to go swimming right now? I want to go swimming badly. Water looks beautiful. Like imagine, you know how you can go swimming with the dolphins? Imagine if like hippos were peaceful and you could sign up for like swim with the hippos program. Or swim with the crocs. You can swim with the crocs. Like, mm -hmm. like YP has done that. I know a few people who have like swam with crocs. I don't know. Where? I, I think they feed them a lot. And Where? They do it. I know someone who did it in Africa. And I know someone who did it in Florida. Not, not here. I know so, <laughs> someone did it in the Okavanga Delta. Okay. Was, I don't know how like they do uh, it, but, but uh, I... They must tell us their tricks. Yeah. Because not here. Yeah, not here. <laughs> I wouldn't put a foot in the water here. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. I know I'm not in a zoo. Uh -huh. I know that much. Yeah, okay. So uh, I That's am... That's the first step. I, I'm keeping my head on a swizzle. A swivel. <laughs> uh, just like the impalas around here. Oh, yeah. See, that's gotta be it. tough. Like, I have to keep my head on a swivel for the next two days. Impalas have to keep their head on a swivel for their for the entire their life. life. <laughs> right? <laughs> that shit Must is be tough. Tough, tough yeah. being an impala. Yeah. So the impalas just like huddle under a tree and sleep at night. That's gotta be kind of spooky. Yeah. But, so, so what happens is, as soon as it starts getting dark, the the, the animals that are most vulnerable have safety in numbers. So all of a sudden, you see impalas are sporadic during the day when there's light, and then they start huddling up. Then baboons have the most sophisticated security system on the fucking planet. They have watchmen in like trees, so they'll hang out in a specific areas, but they'll have watchmen in trees watching and they're quick to sound the alarm if like anything happens at all. 
how do they how do they assign like who's the watchman uh, uh -huh. I'm not I'm not really a baboon I don't know but I've watched yeah. enough I've watched enough natural geographic yeah. about Africa to know what I'm talking about you know what I mean I'm sure they take turns. They don't just make oh, yeah. one asshole they, yeah, yeah. be the watchman they, they, every day. They, they have like shifts. They have like yeah. shifts. So you you work the, the the eight to ten shift, ten to twelve type of thing. You know, others get to rest when others are on watch. It's it's crazy. And that's why there's so many fucking baboons. Mm -hmm. Can't whack a baboon. Nope. They're too smart. You can't whack an elephant because they're too, too big. big. But they're also, I hear, pretty smart. Yo, Donnie, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something to tell the people. Fuck with me, you'll learn a thing or two. Okay, fuck with Zah, fuck with Zambezi Zah, and you'll you'll come out of that with some animal facts and some life facts. We need to get to that other side, but road how do you how do you get to that other side? Is closed. So yeah, I guess we hang out. Call his bluff. No hell no. <laughs> Call his bluff. Just just go a little bit further. Hell no. Five feet. I mean, we're stuck here. We won't make it home, right? You know that, right? It's gonna turn. So because of the babies. <laughs> We will have to reverse it. Yeah, but I trust Fuzz's reverse driving skills. <laughs> I trust my moves. reverse driving skills. This thing Only problem moves. is I don't have I don't have enough space to do a J10. Oh yeah. So now we just play the waiting game. Yeah. Look at the size of that thing, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what is that though? We are seeing some shit we ain't never seen before, kid. Is that thing gonna make us money? Yo, we could get some good money for that ivory kid. I think it's illegal, but like, whatever. My, I mean, my titties are out, so whatever. I mean, do you want, do you want to have my tits out too? Dinner time, we we got we got some. It, it's literally a bush meal. We got we got noodles over here. Noodles in the plate. We're waiting for the chicken. Actually, we might eat it tomorrow. We just boiled it. I don't know who knows. And this isn't any plain old noodles. We got we got. Uh, like sausage. sausage, Chef, Chef Donnie, Chef Donnie did his thing, man. Look at this. So we got a little, so little sausage, Ooh, sorry, tomato, I mean, I'm out of camera, little man. onion Bonnet sauce, Africa. a little bit of milk Head in there, hot sauce, Regional gonna be fire. Doing that with some noodles and some chicken. This is South bushy. Africa. This is how you fucking eat so when you're in the middle of nowhere with lions walking around, bamboos. This is how you fucking eat when you're in the middle of nowhere with lions walking around, bamboos. This is how you fucking eat when you're in the middle of nowhere with lions walking around, bamboos. This is how you fucking eat when you're in the middle of nowhere with lions walking around, bamboos. This is how you fucking eat when you're in the middle of nowhere with lions walking around, bamboos. This is how you fucking eat when you're in the middle of nowhere with lions walking around, bamboos. This is how you fucking eat when you're in the middle of nowhere with lions walking around, bamboos. Fuzz, what did you think when you, uh, when you first like just heard that Za had found a job in the U.S. and he would be staying there? Well, look, I, I always told you. him. I uh, know, but I always told you to come home. Remember? Oh yeah, they they get yes. all they get I, all, I, they I, get I, emotional. The, my, I, I, I always, always said you should come home. So. The problem with my family, yeah. they get emotional yeah. no, and I sentimental. Always, and, always said, look, do you know the thing is, mm -hmm. um, look, I understand Zim's got You, you can't, you no, can't make fair. emotional mm -hmm. decisions. It's not emotional. I understand Zim's got its issues. Uh, every country does. Yeah. But I feel that if you're in the right place and you've got your things going, you can go above certain of the issues Done. and live a comfortable life, which I'm sure you could do. And um, like and like you are doing now. Exactly like I'm doing, which is why I've always said, listen, he can come home and we can make it work and we can rock. Yes. I'm, saying, I'm in my pools, it's freaking half past eight, I'm having a fire sauce with pasta and Chicken and freaking bush eating, baby. This whatever this is. A bush martini. <laughs> a bush martini. Yeah. And we just saw a freaking lion with a buffalo kill. Yes. Like, literally two hours ago. Home is number one. I love being home, but the only thing that will keep me away from being here, which I mean, these guys, although my whole family wants me here, the only thing that will keep me away from here that I'm happy about is buffalo. So. Yeah, you, to, you, you, have, you have a great job. I, as long as I, as long as I get to come here and see my family here and there and all that, I'm more than happy, man. More than happy. And I've been here. This is the first time. This is the first time in about, first time in ten years that I've been home twice in one year. And uh, Zaz's mom is the real MVP because she sent us with a bottle of her homemade hot sauce. I mean, it's because you cried. Because it's it's because you cried about it. <laughs> That's why she said it. What are you talking about? I cried you about cried it. about it. You, you're like, oh, mom. My mom, my mom. What are you talking about? I cried. Mom, I complimented her hot sauce. That's what I'm saying. My mom panders to the crowd, so whatever. So, they, all right, if you all pander, I did, she'll... I didn't, I didn't say, hey, we need, we need a bottle of your hot sauce for our trip. All I did was just compliment her hot sauce at a meal. And she was like, she was like, oh, in, in, in the Zimbabwe accent, she was like, oh, I go to send your friend Donnie. I go to send your friend Donnie. Go to friend, send your friend Donnie with some of that hot sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So the only thing is that our guide Fuzz left his entire suitcase of clothes Dabble. in Monopool. So he'll be rocking pretty much just my clothes the rest of the trip. Right now he's got the three beers in the Fanta. Show that off. All right, hold on. Let me finish with the. No, 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 no. You got, no, no, you got, no, no, you got no, no, plenty no, no. of time to eat. Only a little bit of time to show off that but shirt. You showed me the camera when I was holding stuff. Oh, so that's your bad. <laughs> Looking good, Foz. Three beers and a Fanta. In Zimbabwe. And I just had three beers. I have another Fanta. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, my left shoulder is not feeling great. Oh, guys, 100% just... Team Portnoy. I am it not making an excuse. I am just stating facts. My left shoulder is not feeling great. I just want to remind people that my left shoulder isn't doing great. Okay. Hey, you it's know. Not, it's not an excuse. I'm just stating facts. Right. Yes. Do you know what the term is for a white chick in a non-Caucasian country? I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Let's hear this. Silver bellies. <laughs> uh, I, that's what we call white chicks in China. <laughs> Silver bellies. Silver yeah, bellies. That applies to China. <laughs> I think it applies to Africa, though. I've seen I've some. I've never heard that term yet. Well, I don't think it's used. It, it's only used amongst me and maybe five other people in China. <laughs> So, so now you can start using it in Africa. And uh, yeah, the Shearwater Lodge has its fair share of silver bellies. So how often does a hippo just like come flying over the falls? Never happens. They don't get close enough to the edge to be sucked in by the water. So are you trying to tell me like hippos are wicked smart? You're wicked, wicked smart. Wicked smart, dude? Wicked smack. All right, so they oh, know that, right? they know not to like not to get too close. Yes, but us humans are dumb. We'll get right to the edge. Okay. All right, so Donnie's oh, chickening yeah. out. Yeah. No, Donnie's yeah. chickening out. I'll do the swing. I just need two more shots of tequila. Is that enough? I switched up the order. Instead of three beers and a Fanta, I did three shots of tequila and a beer. All right, cool. And, and, and is that gonna get you across? Mm-hmm. You sure? I mean, I'm gonna be crying, but. I'll do it. Oh my god! Ah. No. Right above the falls, it got like super bumpy as he was taking the turn, man. Yeah, was, yeah. That shit made me sick. I was about to throw up in there. Ah, oh, shit! Don't worry, oh. oh my god. Yeah, as I was Ooh. losing this shit, uh, I didn't see a single tear shed the entire time. Um, and also, like, you can't hear a thing up there. So I wouldn't even know if he was crying, um, but it was a good time. First, first animal sighting. We got a fish eagle right behind you, chef. It's about to take your ass out. Dude, are you a fucking bird? He's about to get taken out by a bird, dude. Bang, bang, bird, gang. Birds are for the birds, man. I'm here for the fucking aquatic mammals. You know what the fuck it is. So the last time I was on like a booze cruise like this, yeah, my buddy Mac. He got like a, a bad batch of clams or something. Oh God. Got food poisoning. I had to fucking poop in a plastic bag and just throw it into the river. We were in the Mystic River, like right by where the Encore Casino is. Thank God, thank God we got bathrooms here, right? No, I think they had bathrooms on our boat too. He, yeah, just, he, fucking, just, he just pooped in the bag. Yeah, he was just drunk. I think he just like, there was a really good DJ. That's so like straight he, up G shit, right? He didn't want to leave the dance floor. <laughs> then this being the narrowest and the deepest part on the upper Zambezi. It is 21 to 25 meters deep. Then always found in shallow places because they don't swim but can only walk around in the bottom. So this would be the safest place to swim then? Yeah, I mean, it's the shortest distance. Well, I would, no, I wouldn't no, do because I'm, it's so deep. No, no, no. No, no, it, I wouldn't do it. It's actually the safest place. Yeah. Because you're probably not. Is it so over there, as the long deepest as part? You, so no, yeah. Oh, yeah. If hippos the can't part. swim, then as long as you're in water over, yeah, say, deep. 10 yeah. feet yeah. deep, you're good. Yeah. No hippos? Yeah. You're good. Yep, pretty much. What they do is they swim and then float up towards They bounce and they bounce. They, so they bounce. So they can float up and come close to you. Oh, they can do a little, like, push off the so ground. So pretty much. So you could, you could probably, if this is the deepest point, you could probably go in for a swim. Yep. You'll find nothing except for fish. The cops, yeah, and the gators will the crocodile, stay shallow So too. crocodiles will stay across the bank because that's where the food but is. The, the hippo. Is you the don't hippo. want to be in the water right, with a crocodile go. that's swimming from that side oh, to that side. <laughs> it's on its way. See you later. But remember... <laughs> hey, see, the captain's going to kick you up. <laughs> Joking. For the camera. Oh, you're going to get us kicked off. You're going to get us kicked off. So, What's the deal with Impalas? 
Well, as you can see, they multiply like freaking, I don't know, rabbits. Rabbits. A shitload of them. The lion can't catch them because they're too fast. Hyenas can't catch them because they're too dumb. I don't know. So they just, <laughs> they just they multiply. Chill. And they just Not chill. a bad life. I mean, something has to catch them eventually. Well, look, they get cocky from time to time, and uh, the lucky female lion will uh, catch catch a snack, you know. Yeah. Like like eating like eating a little, um, you know, like a wing or something like uh, yeah. like chicken pops. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, uh, that's 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 something like that. Hey, even a broken clock gets eaten twice a day. True. As the true saying that. goes. Yep. True that. True that. I like your sunglasses. I used to have the same exact pair. Now be careful, for eyes. Yep. Yeah. The three bears and a Fanta, it creeps up on you. Okay. It will get you wicked sauced. That's okay. Can you say that? Say... It will get me wicked sauced. Yeah, yeah. That was good. <laughs> right, who's having the Fanta? Oh, this is all for no, you, No, he has all. Hell no. This is, this, is, this is a gift. This, this is a gift <laughs> right, for the cool. guy. Now... All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's have three beers and a Fanta for, for three of us. I'm just supposed to drink it. Yeah, so you just, you just like this. You just keep on making more and more until so all the beers are gone and all the fans is gone. Not in my bullets. So there's live ammunition yep. for our protection. Have you ever had to use that gun on a walking safari? I haven't shot an animal to kill yet. But I have used it to scare the animal when the animal is charging. I just actually fire up the warning shot. Ah, yeah. And that really helped a lot. You know, I've done it only twice since I've been guarding yeah. for the past 21 years. Wow. What type of animal did you have to scare off? It was an elephant. You and yep. And it was a buffalo. Ah, all right. And thank God the buffalo turned away when I fired up my shot. Yeah. yeah. Which is very rare. Buffaloes, in, in most cases, they don't stop when they decide to guard, to charge. But anyway, it was a very nice and lucky day for us to detour the buffalo's intention. This is the home of an ant lion. And it just paralyzed that ant, and it's about to take him underground, suck out his guts, and then puke out the carcass. Dude, you see that? Yep. What the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> dude, it's like it's like an ant, but a lion at the same time. Dude, that's sick. Um, you know, he's got these jaws that are grooved, and that's where the ants and his are going to be. But I know what, that's his prey, that's his breakfast. Would you like somebody to come and disturb you when you're having breakfast? Nope. Absolutely, the same thing should happen. We just have to leave it to nature to take its course. Yep. Absolutely. And I'm nice sure, thing. you know, that's, you see, he's dragging it under. Yep. And he's going to suck the whole juice out of that ant. He doesn't have the jaws to chew, so he will throw out the carcass. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. That's his wow. life. So he's got his breakfast in the morning. It's going to be a meal that will take him probably another, you know, so more, more weeks. If not, if no ant falls into the trap again. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's what he does. The end will be trying to get out and he flicks the sand to keep it. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do quickly is to do this. This is the creature that we're talking about here. Whoa. That's the little guy. He's like the size of an ant. Almost. Come on. Look at that. Come on, man. He plays possum. Well, playing, playing dead. He's playing dead. Oh, he's a tough guy when he's underground. Mm. He's playing dead. Once he's up top, not so brave, you see, are you? You see the jaws? Oh, yeah. He does it intentionally. Just plays dead as if he's dead, but otherwise he's very wow. much active. Uh, we're at Mtarazi Falls. Uh, it's one of the... I think it's the highest one in Zimbabwe. I don't know where it ranks in the world. It might be up there. Really beautiful area. We're gonna do the skywalk over the falls and we're gonna go around and check out the falls from the other side, which are majestic. So let's go. Are you gonna go on the walk, saw? Uh, absolutely not. I'm Why not? Because I'm the world's biggest punk. I'm scared of heights and I'm not gonna put myself in here. So is punk uh, a Zimbabwean term for pussy? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have, I'll, I'll be the first person to put my hand up and tell you that, yes, when it comes to this stuff, I'm the world's biggest pussy and I'm not doing it. But you went on a helicopter. Under duress. I almost did it. 
at least there there I've seen and I, I I don't know how I actually went on that helicopter but it was not enjoyable at all so you ready to do this John yeah who this is cool this is awesome <laughs> it's kids, Donnie. Oh, is it tighter? How was it? Is it tighter? Too scared? It yeah. was good. It was good. I mean, you would have been a little spooked. Yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, but do you see what he was doing? You see what Chef Donnie was doing, bouncing around? Yeah. That's exactly why I didn't go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you're, you're just kind of a pussy. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Dana Bean's a pussy. He's doing all right. I'll own it. I feel like we're the fellowship of the ring right now. Bob locked in his bathroom. Yeah, I got a text. Should we keep him in there? No, I think we should let him out. Well, uh, well, we'll, we'll see how he's doing. If okay, he's cool. like, if he's on the verge okay, of tears. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> is this his room? Yes, this is his room. Za? I am. I came here. I came here to let you out. Wait, so it's locked? Yeah. All right. You came in to poop. So I'm conscious he closed the door without realizing that it has no handle. All right, so let's see. Should we hand you a card or should I try? I think just try to do it from this side. Are you pooping now? No, I'm done. All right. <laughs> I just need to lift myself up. There we go. Boom. All right, good. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Ooh, that smells. Smells in there, right? So another thing I noticed about this town is that there is zero ice. So is that common in like a lot of Africa that sometimes ice is hard to find? Um, I think this is the problem caused by lack of electricity or zesa. Because oh, okay. obviously I can't freeze anything if I don't have electricity. Yeah. Yeah, so I think this is just uh, these power cuts that have been going on mm -hmm. that are causing this issue. But normally, ice isn't a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do we have here? This is the biggest Zambezi I've seen all trip. F Fuzz, is this is this like the African equivalent to a 40? Yes, it is. We call it a quart. A quart? We call them a quart or a headmaster. Yes, or a headmaster. A headmaster. That's a local a headmaster right yeah. How many headmasters can you take down? Gas? On a good day, I can probably <laughs> gas like six headmasters. Damn! Easy. So I'll tell you the problem with the uh, headmasters. See, you need to gas them quickly to keep the temperature cool. Yeah. So the longer you take to gas it, the warmer it gets. So, you know what that means, Wonton Don? Put that camera down and let's gas some beers, bro. <laughs> Mixing a <the> water! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers to that. All right, I just ordered a scotch egg. This has been on my bucket list for a while. I've had every type of egg except for a scotch egg. Is it scotch or a scotch egg? It's a scotch egg. A, a scotch egg, yeah. okay. I mean, a, a normal scotch egg, from what I've heard, it's like a soft boiled egg that gets uh, wrapped in ground meat, and then it, there's like a breadcrumb coating, and then the whole thing is deep fried. I guess this is what it looks like, although this doesn't look to be soft boiled. All I know is that Africa is the last place in the world where I thought I'd be trying my first scotch egg. Are these popular here? No. No? Okay. Look, I've never ordered one. <laughs> right. I've never had one too. <laughs> yeah, have you ever seen them on the menu? Absolutely. I've seen them on the menu but never ordered one. Okay. This just tastes like if a, a burger patty was, was wrapped around an egg. It's, a, it's an egg burger. Salty meat, but... Yeah, I like it. You like it. This would be solid for breakfast. If you're trying to do a keto breakfast... Alright. Instead of like a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. You just have a fucking, you just have an egg burger. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? How are you? I like your basketball jersey. Chinese? 
Yeah, Chinese. I live in China. I live in China, I, I, I live in China but I am from the U.S. Yes. So you are speaking my language right now. Chinese basketball and America. Let's go, Shaq. Let's go, Shaq. All right, I need to go pee. So. Oh, let's go check out the veranda. This is the version of Bridge Engineering Marvel. It used to be on our two-dollar coin. It's an engineering marvel that um, only one car can drive over at a time. One vehicle allowed at a time. <laughs> really? Yep. Ain't nothing, uh, ain't nothing supporting it from underneath, bro. That doesn't sound like the most stable bridge. <laughs> oh, it is. Six. We got some macadamia nut, dude. Isn't there a Zimbabwean word that sounds exactly like macadamia? Macadimi. Macadimi. And what does that mean? How you doing? How hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, hey, how are you? Hey, That's exactly what it means. <laughs> yes. Macadimi. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Um, I think I'm just going to do some macadamia nuts. Some macadamia nuts. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you want a pack? Yeah. Alright, It truly is wild how the entire country accepts mobile payments even if someone doesn't have a smartphone. So it's not like a scan. You just put a certain number into your phone and then the money goes to their phone. Alright, may day. Alright. Some content for you there. Fresh macadamies. No, oh, they're roasted. Roasted macadamias. Yeah. Can you can you even eat raw macadamia nuts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can. Apparently, you can't eat raw pistachios, or else you'll yeah, die. Yeah, I know. Apparently, the poisonous. Yeah. Thing. When they're in the shell. Now, Fuzz is just going to give us a little bit more of a backstory on what happened when the cyclone hit. Because my ass was in New York. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what basically happened is, um, you know, most of Mozambique is flat. Yeah. So when the cyclone came in, um, it's still like quite a bit of strength. But we've got these uh, mountain, this mountain range here, which we call the Eastern Islands. And effectively, that slowed the, the cyclone right down and literally dumped all its energy, like, overnight in a single area. And that's why it caused so much damage. So there were a lot of landslides, rock slides, uh, I mean, it washed down roads. Um, it, it was a disaster. Uh, most of uh, Mozambique was flooded. I'm sure you guys saw the pictures on the TV. It was really bad. You can actually tell and see the path that the, that the water flew, uh, flowed down yeah. this mountain. So we saw that giant river of rocks, like, is that part of the cleanup or is that just like, no, that was created by the cyclone? That that's created actually by created by the cyclone. Um, I think if you look at some of the images we were taking earlier, yeah. you can see the uh, channels in the mountains. Yeah. And effectively those became rivers and carried all the rocks that are in the mountains. And yeah. Just deposited them along uh, on the way down. So if you look to your left, you'll see another one. And that's not a cleanup, that's just rocks that were carried from the mountains and dropped as the, as, 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 as the water was, was flowing down downhill. And these reduced speed signs are makeshift too. So did they probably have to kind of like try to remove some of the rocks to find bodies and stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. And obviously like to clear the path so that people can actually, you know, uh, be able to get to their homes and things like that. Bumpy. Look at how bumpy this shit is. Fuzz said we should leave extra early today in case we ran into a few hiccups and uh, here this, we are. This is what we call a hiccup. Here we are. You see, I can't even fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't even fucking take a sip out hey, of my Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you doing good today? Last meal in Africa. Uh, we just ordered the warthog kebabs. I feel like that's a very fitting last meal. Warthog kebab. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not the best meat I've had. It's kind of like dry, really gamey meat. 
So is it it's drier than just normal pork? Yeah, it's dry. It's, it tastes like a dry pork. It doesn't have that much flavor. Like it's not like a strong like elkish flavor. It's just yeah, it's not bad, but it's got a nice char on it. But I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't run out your way to eat this. No. Yeah, because we saw some warthogs in the bush and they were just like lean as hell. Yeah, not like no yeah. fat on the body. Can I try one piece? Yeah. And here we have the beef chief. Eddie's preferred place to eat whenever he's in Zimbabwe. He'll be the next one for you to bring, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Zeddy, Zeddy does Zimbabwe. Some Zimbabwe, be, some Zimbabwean beefs. He'll be hanging out at uh, the beef chief. Zaz's mom has a tailor and she had loads of African fabrics. So I got a bunch of clothes made and right now they want me to do a modeling session. So first I'm gonna Throw on this full piece suit. See how it looks. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Fit check. How do you think it looks? All right, yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, I got like three more outfits to try on too. I think the clothes are a hit. Hopefully I don't get accused of cultural appropriation. But I think they like it. There, there he is. My man. Alright, we got the true Zim experience right now according to Za. They, they see me rolling. It's so the quarters are so tight I can't even put my arm down right now. They see me rolling. I'm trying to tell them that people do this in the US a lot Jesus too. But uh Christ, bro. Fuzz brought up a good point that I guess the cars there are a little bit bigger. Bigger, oh yeah. The Dodge Ram. This ain't no Dodge Ram. And then yeah, usually the person this ain't no Dodge sitting Ram in the middle for, is a little bit bigger too. Ford no offense. 150? I mean, I'm white, dude. I'm, I'm actually being that. You know what? Yes, you, you, right. want, you, want me, you want me to give you my shoulder? Cause I will, I will shove you out oh, of this yeah. car. This is, yeah, this is I think exactly he's actually it. taking up more space yeah, than a normal exactly. human. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's me being nice. I'm sitting. I'm sitting like this. And we are cruising to the liquor store. Oh yeah, to go get some brews. Are we bro. going to the packy, bro? To go, to go get some brews, bro. Oh, you call them a packy in then China? No, in. Massachusetts, they call it a Paki. For is that because a lot of Pakistanis? No. Okay. No. Yeah. I saw part someone of, accuse of. Rear out of that today, but no, it's because it's it's for it's from the term package store. Oh, okay. which is part of my it. ignorance. Pakis, Pakis, and, and British English is a Pakistani. It's funny how I've now heard people make that confusion twice in the last day. I think it might have something to do with the stereotype that people from Mass are racist. I don't know. So quarters are so tight, I got to keep my arm on the roof. Like you're in a helicopter. Right? Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm smiling. I'm smiling through all this. What were your high points and low points of the trip? So, the high point of my trip, um, let's put it this way we saw a lot of game. But definitely the walk on Elephant Hills and with Donnie uh, killing a. How can I putt with that though? In the past, maybe you can do a rollover of uh, animals on the golf course, but that was fantastic. Oh, how am I supposed to putt with that going on, Doug? <laughs> yes, that yes. is exactly what I'm going on about. Yes, that is uh, like a, that's become a meme yeah. back in the U.S. and uh, nowhere is it more appropriate than Africa. Yes. How am I supposed to swing with that going on, Doug? And obviously, the the, the biggest low point was the the elephant. Um, that really was sad, um, and not just the elephant, but um, if, if you noticed, we saw quite a few carcasses uh, in Mauna Falls, and I was reading some facts after we came back, and appro approximately 100 odd elephants have died from the drought in the country, so that definitely was telling uh, that uh, we are having a drought. Things are not going great, but look, um, the rains have arrived. Uh, we've had a couple of thunderstorms in there, so things are improving. So that's good. And another high point um, was uh, Donny getting wasted. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and Zah putting Donny to sleep. Yes, yes, I got absolutely baloney faced. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was another high point. So I had a couple glasses of Chardonnay. What of it? All right, goodbye, Zaz. Fourth home. I'd like to say it was real, but I don't really recall much of my time spent inside you. 
Well, I th feel like as the guy, you should have been the one to tell me maybe I shouldn't be mixing Amarula and whiskey. Well, look, it's always good to try something. I hadn't done it before. I mm -hmm. wanted to see where it would go. But the effects kind of like suddenly hit you. Yep. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, that was, yes. I'm not really like a slow burner. I'm just like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And, and then you're and, out. And, and then I'm out <laughs> and, need, and need to be put to bed. So when Za hit you up and was like, hey, uh, could you help show two of my American friends around? What was your first reaction to that? Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's yeah. do this. No, seriously, I love traveling. Um, I travel a lot with my, uh, with my eight to five. So for me, this was, you know, just one of those things which literally fell into, you know, my pot of things that I like doing. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, look, the, 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 the eight to five part being dropped and a slightly different uh, eight to five being added in, it made it a lot more exciting. And obviously, I got to spend some time with, uh, you know, I'll call you guys family now. I mean, we were together literally for uh, a week. Uh, no break in between, so you know, I think this is good fun. Um, at any point, did we start to get on your nerves? No. Okay, good. No. If you had to tell any of the viewers at home, a majority from America, but really there's, they're probably from all over the world, what would you tell them about Zimbabwe that they should know? Zimbabwe is one of the most beautiful, most friendliest, and most, how can I call it, it's most peaceful countries on this planet. Um, don't believe the hype. This place will, you will, you will rock it in this place. Besides, if you've got a friend like Fuzz, you're going to have a good time. Fuzzy Bush Adventures, man. <laughs> I got this, baby. <laughs> yeah. I was telling Za earlier, like, when people heard I was coming to Africa or Zimbabwe, they were like, that's crazy, that's nuts. And I'm like, dude, it's not that crazy. I met a guy named Fuzz, actual name Farai, and it's yeah. like he could have been my friend since I was 10 years old. Like, it's it's not it's not that crazy. Like, travel the world a little bit, and you'll see that people are a lot more alike than they are different. And if you ever come to Zimbabwe and need, you know, someone showing you the ropes, Fuzz. I mean, is there's the guy. On, there's only one way to go. At this point, after people see it, there's only one way to go. Yeah, the fuzzy bush way. The, the fuzzy I bush way. I like that. The fuzzy bush way. <laughs> yeah, and that's 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 the trademark right there. The fuzzy bush way. Yes. <laughs> Did you just give the dog a bone? Did you just give the dog a bone, kid? He's happy. He's happy. Good job. Where are you gonna put all those bones? I want to give it uh, the dog that I have on. Oh, yeah. The small dog, so, you know, in Zimbabwe, meat is so expensive, so. She'll be happy with those. Or... Yeah, you should be happy yeah. with those. Okay, have a drink. Oh. Drink it, drink. That's stone, you can drink it that fast. It's probably going to drink beer. Yeah. The way you drink stone. <laughs> oh, the chickens are trying to, are trying to steal the, the dog's bone. bones. He is not. <laughs> Those are brave chickens. <laughs> what? Look at that one, look at that one, look at that one. Wow, they're so brave. <laughs> Wait, hold on, are you doing a Zambezi or one of these? Uh, one of these uh, <laughs> Do you have a Zambezi? It's for you. Oh, yes, let's go, baby. <laughs> so, Donnie. For you white folks that are watching, white folks, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you a dance move. All right, let's go. I'm gonna show you a dance move. Literally, literally translated, literally translated into English. It's called the bicycle. All right, I like the English might have a bicycle move. Here in my land, it's called cabasco. Cabasco. So you, you wait till the beat drops. You wait till the beat drops. You wait till the beat drops. Like. Oh. Oh, damn. We don't have that shit. There you go. There you go. My poo poo. My poo -poo hit the kabasco. Hit the kabasco. Kabasco. The bicycle. Oh, I'm gassed. I'm gassed. Let's see the footwork. 
So I'll show you on slow mo. Watch, watch. No, watch. Watch it. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. The one to undone. There you go. You see, Sister Nancy with the. Oh, Sister Nancy with the kabasco. Exactly. Kabasco. <laughs> kabasco. Oh my God. I might throw up. I might throw up. I'll show you. Tony got food to a gadget man. Yes. Oh, she has it with a baby too. With a baby. Look at that. You see. You see. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. So one, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Exactly. One, two, three. Yes, run on the spot real quick. And then throw your foot out. So you see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm doing the kabob. I mean, you're doing the marching band right now. You're doing white people stuff. You're doing the marching So it's one, two, one, two, three. 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 Oh, they're not in the legacy. It's not like they got my phone way off. I don't know what the weather is. So I'll show you. Yes, like that. He's getting sick. One, two, three. I don't want to go now. I don't want to go now. I don't want to go now. One, two, three. I don't want to go now. Yes. Yes. Dude, that, that is tough. The kabasco is tough, man. I'm not sweating. I know. I cannot do the kabasco. Sister Nancy. Sister Nancy. Oh. Do you, do you have any last words you want to say to the camera? <laughs> okay. Oh, it was awesome being here. Yeah. Thanks for making me feel so at home here. And here we have a pigeon inside the airport. No idea how it ended up here, but I'm not complaining. It's a pleasant surprise. What are you doing here, buddy?